Hey, what's going on everybody? David here, and welcome back to part two of my horror movie collection. Um, just like part one, we're going to try to go through these as quick as possible. Um, I, the only time that I'll stop and maybe go in depth is if it's a special title or it's, you know, a title that's special to me in some way. Um, then we'll, you know, kind of dive into it just a little bit. But for the most part, uh, we're just going to kind of go through them each one, starting with... Halloween 4, The Return of Michael Myers. Halloween movies are always good. They're, they're a staple, you know, in any horror movie collection. Halloween 3, Season of the Witch, very, very underrated. Um, this movie has no Michael Myers in it besides one, like, couple second clip where he's on a TV screen somewhere. Uh, very, very good. If you have not seen Halloween 3, definitely, definitely uh, check it out. And if you didn't like it the first time... Rewatch it. Give it a chance. Really good. All right. Halloween, the original. This is a, the DVD version. Love it how the slipcover has this cool little effect to it. Awesome. Under the bed. Uh, this one was all right. It wasn't the best. Uh, the best horror movie out there. Halloween. Uh, Twenty five years of terror. <laughs> when I originally got this. Um, I thought that it was a uh, it, it was like a special edition for the first Halloween movie until I got it home. I didn't even bother to look at the back. And it is a uh, documentary. Really good documentary, though, mind you. Again, just like with uh, the Crystal Crystal Lake Memories and uh, was it Never Sleep Again, the Nightmare on Elm Street one, um, this is a really good documentary on, on, the, on Halloween as well. Halloween Unrated Director's Cut. This is uh, the Rob Zombie movie i really like this one i i like rob zombie's films for the most part in general i mean they're always really good uh they're very creative devil's rejects one of the best horror sequels that i've ever seen uh still a favorite of mine that whole ending uh ending freebird scene love it perfect perfect movie house of a thousand corpses this one I remember when this came out, this is the, the, the original, the first movie, and then it was Devil's Rejects, um, if you guys didn't know. But, uh, yeah, there was a lot of speculation on this movie, a lot of curiosity. I didn't know how I felt about it initially, but um, I, I ended up liking it very much. It's, it grew on me a lot over the years. Texas Chainsaw Massacre, the beginning. It's unrated. A lot of these I need to upgrade to, to Blu-ray. I really do. Um, I haven't had the chance yet. But this one was okay, too. Uh, this one was like a, basically a prequel to this one, the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Love this one. Um, all the Texas Chainsaw Massacre movies. Even, uh, what was it? I think it's just called Texas Chainsaw. Texas Chainsaw Massacre, I think it is. The, the one that came out in 3D. Uh, that one's okay, too. I actually really like that one. These are always really fun. This one's probably one of the best ones, though. Very, uh... It made me feel like I needed to take a shower afterwards. <laughs> uh, Supernatural, the complete 10th season. Again, very, very fun show. Love it so much. Uh, it's, it's up there uh, with Buffy, the vampire slayer for me. Bestron uh, Video Collector Series, Warlock Collection. I, I watched these, uh, you know, recently again. And I forgot how odd they were. <laughs> but they're really fun. Fun watch. XX. Uh, this is a horror anthology series with a bunch of female uh, female directors. Directing basically, you know, little horror shorts. And um, I didn't like it as much as I thought I was going to. Um, th there was maybe one. I think there's like four. I believe like four or five. Uh, I think it's four. Four shorts in there, and maybe there was like one that I liked. Uh, all the other ones just felt really odd to me. But if you like horror anthologies, definitely check this one out, though. Alien Covenant. This is the, the Target exclusive. Look at this cool uh, digibook type of deal. Has some uh, artwork inside with uh, the H.R. Giger esque artwork. And this is just a standard Blu ray, Alien Covenant. The 4K of Resident Evil Vendetta. This one was really fun. I love this one. This one was really good to watch. Um, the CG Resident Evil CG movies are some of my favorites right now to check out. 
Um, and I, I watched these, and I this one especially, and I felt like the movies should have been this, the same tone, same feel. The movies should have uh, gone down this route. Good, good stuff. It looks great in 4K. The Reanimator. This is a the Arrow video release. Fantastic, fantastic box set. Let's kind of take a look at it real quick. I did an unboxing for it already, but we'll just kind of go through it real quick. It does come with this cool booklet. And right there. And then the back here. Um, this is one of those movies that if you're if you're a, a zombie fan, you gotta you gotta watch this one. It should be like on uh, it should be like watched as homework because uh, it really is a great movie. It, it's it's a different type of zombie movie, but it's really 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 awesome to watch. Really fun. Uh, Friday the Thirteenth Part Three in 3D. This is when they were just barely starting to re-release them on on, uh, on Blu-ray, um, and this one does come with some cool 3D glasses. This is before the whole, you know, 3D TV type of thing. So they did the old school 3D with these. All right. Echoes. This one was a very odd movie as well. Um, it has, it's about a girl that's basically in a glass house out in the middle of nowhere. And she's, she's, gets haunted you know there, there's like this haunting happening in that house very very odd cooties really really fun film to watch uh basically you take a um a school and all these weird eccentric uh teachers and substitutes and you have um this virus spread i forgot it was something off of something very funny that one kid got sick and then it just started spreading <laughs> and it, it, they're they're trapped in the school really good movie children of the night house two stories this one does have house and house two and then a cool cool booklet hardcover booklet um i rewatched these a, a while back as well and they were so good Weird, but good. <laughs> All right, let's see here. Put this back in. All right. Saw, what was that? Saw 6. This one's, again, Saw. Saw movies are, are uh, great movies to watch just because, again, they're so imaginative. Uh, the way that they, they do their, their, their gags, I guess you could say, uh, within the film. A lot of it can kind of... Uh, get a little bit repetitive in certain aspects, but fun movies. Saw 5. Yeah. Saw 4. The Mist. One of my favorite Stephen King movies. I loved it so much. The ending was so bleak and so depressing, but I love the film. I love the, the, the idea of the film. Really good movie. Devil. This one was actually a surprisingly, uh, surprisingly good uh, M. Night Shyamalan movie. Resident Evil Damnation. Another good Resident Evil uh, CG movie. Really good. Cloverfield. What's more to say about Cloverfield that hasn't already been said? Love this movie. I've watched it so many times. Um, I, I was uh, totally... I don't know if you guys even remember... Um, I was totally in for the whole viral viral campaign that they did. Um, I was always trying to find new things online. And really good. I love the, the love the marketing campaign on it. Land of the Dead. Uh, George Romero's, uh, I guess, only big budget zombie movie. Um, really good. I, I love I love the look of it, the way it was filmed. I love the the zombie makeup. Uh, the effects were awesome. I just didn't like the main leader zombie that's in here uh all he did was just like growl and you know give orders uh that that, that aspect of it was was odd um the abcs of death 2 uh another great uh horror anthology series uh, again th these are these are always really fun i love horror anthologies they're some of my favorite genres um this basically you have um 
a director directing a very small short film, like I would say maybe could be up to like two minutes uh, for each letter of the alphabet. Like uh, they'll have like A is for, you know, abomination or something like that. Something to that degree, for example. Um, and they go through each letter of the alphabet. Really good stuff. Um, there's so many in here, obviously for each letter of the alphabet that you get some sometimes that are very, uh, weird <laughs> and some that are just like not good. But then when you, when you get to those ones that are really good, you're like, wow, they were able to do that within like two minutes. Really impressive. Sex tape, SX tape. Um, weird. Friday the 13th. The remake, Killer Cut. Um, I really, enjoy, I really enjoyed this one. Uh, you know, I, I like that they had the the uh, the sack sackhead uh, uh, Jason in there for a good while too, and and the way he, they made him look looked really really scary. So love this one. I was really hoping and wishing that they were gonna uh, do a sequel to this one. They never did. I'm um, hearing that they're supposed to reboot it again. Who knows? World War Z. Uh, in 3D, this one's a really good movie too. I like World War Z. World War Z. Again, different take in the uh, you know as far as uh, the zombie genre goes and stuff like that. Not bad. Uh, the Bye Bye Man. Bye Bye. <laughs> Underworld Blood Wars. Again, th this is kind of one of those aspects where it really isn't a horror movie, but it has horror elements and horror characters in it. Uh, so. You know, these are always good. This one was teetering that line of, like, Resident Evil good and Resident Evil bad. It, it was weird. I, I just, yeah, I don't know. Kate Beckinsale. But <laughs> it, it, I didn't like it as much as I thought I was going to. But it's not bad. Pulse. Not to be confused with the other Pulse. Double Salvation 2-Pack. With Priest and Legion. Again, Legion. I really enjoy Legion. That's, it's a, a fun movie. Um, I always say that whenever movies um, are more focused in to one uh, one setting, uh, you know, one area, to, to have the whole movie be set in, um, you have to get imaginative as a storyteller, as a director. And it always really impresses me whenever a movie like that is really, really good. Queen of the Damned is a, a sequel, basically, to an Interview with a Vampire, where Lestat becomes a rock star. Not a great movie. The only reason I really liked it is because I'm a big Corn uh, fan, uh, and Jonathan Davis from Corn did uh, the soundtrack, basically, like the music that uh, Lestat sings in here. So that was the only reason I really liked it a lot. Jason Goes to Hell. Love this movie. So odd. I remember watching this one as a kid, and I want—I want to say I snuck into the theater, and uh, that whole ending scene. Spoiler alert! When um, I don't know why I'm saying spoiler alert. Everybody's pretty much seen this one. Um, whenever uh, Freddy's glove comes out from the ground and pulls uh, Jason's mask down, that made everybody freak out. And then, so so many years later, like you know, so after so many. So much trying and trying and trying, we finally got Freddy vs. Jason. Um, again, not a not not a bad movie. This one's really fun, just because you see two horror icons that you never thought you'd see on screen together. You see them battling battling it out, and it was really good. I, I remember seeing it at the, at the movie theaters when it came out. Super fun. I really wish that they would have done a sequel or you know something. There, there was talks with like. Uh, Jason, Freddy vs. Jason versus Ash from Evil Dead. That would have been really, really cool. Um, who knows if we'll ever see it. All right, um, my my one of my pride and joys here. The Nightmare on Elm Street collection. As you can see here. Um, I remember I um, I got this. I want to say somebody got this to, for me uh, for my birthday one year when I was younger. And uh, man, I went and we we ended up sitting down. Me and my friends sat down. And we did a, we had a watch party and we went through all of them over like the span of like, a, I think two days max. Uh, yeah, super cool. So it has a one, two, three, four, five. Freddy's Dead, The Final Nightmare, uh, New Nightmare. And then there's a bonus disc here. 
um, that has a bunch of uh, cool stuff. And with Freddy's Dead, it, it, Fre there was parts of it that were in 3D towards the end. Um, so again, they did come with these cool, um, you know, 3D glasses. So now I'm going to illustrate on them. And I almost want to say that when Freddy's Dead came out at the movie theaters, uh, they, they came, there, there was a, I think they were giving out 3D glasses, but they had like the, the, the sweater stripes on them. So that would have been really cool to have. All right. Oh, and then there goes one side and then here goes the new nightmare. Freddy on this other side. Super cool. Ruined my childhood, <laughs> but it's super fun to watch, uh, all the time. Alien Anthology. It's all the alien movies. Alien Aliens, Alien 3, and Alien Resurrection, which is not the great one. Um, and then it comes in this cool, like, you know, digibook type of, type of case here. So you go through each one. Give you some backstory. There. These are some of my favorite films to watch. I'll, every so often, I don't get a chance, as you can see, because I'm always having to watch new stuff. So I don't always get a chance to to rewatch movies that I really want to watch uh but I tend to to try to make time uh for aliens every now and then for the alien franchise cool boom and some bonus this in the back All right yeah super cool and I want to say that I got this a little bit after it came out, I remember when it came out, um, it was like 50 bucks or 60 bucks. And like literally two weeks later, it went down to 20 and I picked it up. <laughs> so that was a, that was a, a good, uh, good buy for me. The Strangers, one of my favorite horror movies. This is one of the movies that actually does scare me. Um, and I, I, I've said it before many times, uh, you know, this is, it, 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 for the main reason, it scares me for the main reason that this stuff can happen. Like, it can actually happen. That's, I think those horror movies like that are the ones that scare me the most. And, um, they, you know, I mean, she kind of says it, uh, one of the, the people says it in the, in the movie, like, why are you doing the, why are you doing this to us? And they just simply say, cause you were home. You know, it's, it's, it's just, it's, it's unforgiving, <laughs> you know, basically. American Horror Story Asylum. Uh, this one was okay season. It kind of got weird after a while. Uh, like, it started off really good. Mid, mid season, it just got weird. So, yeah. But American Horror Story, I like all the seasons. I think this is the only one that I own, own so far, though. Sinister 2. An okay sequel. Quarantine. Another interesting take on, I guess you could call it like the zombie uh, genre. But good. Amityville Horror, actually one of the one of the few horror movie uh, remakes that I really do enjoy. Uh, Ryan Reynolds kills it. Like I mean, his, his performance in in, in here. Uh, I think he was just coming off of Blade Trinity, I believe, and um, he he kills it in, in this movie. Really great. Zombieland. I mean, zombie. It's Zombieland. Like seriously, great great movie. Dead Rising Endgame. Uh, this is a sequel to the first Dead Rising movie. Uh, again, different take on the zombie genre. Not bad. Not great, though. Lost After Dark. This was a fun uh, fun movie to watch. It feels just like a like an 80s movie. Like an 80s slasher flick. Fright Night 2. New Blood. Yeah, it's alright. <laughs> 1408. This is again another uh, another of my favorite Stephen King uh, movies. Really, uh, I I tend to gravitate more towards uh, like movies that like mess with your head or mess with the character's head. You know where they feel like they're going nuts. Those are always uh, interesting to watch. The Visit, a really really good movie. This is a uh, I guess M Night Shyamalan's comeback movie. I guess you could call it. Super good. Husk, Kevin Smith's uh, take on on the uh, on the horror genre, uh, surprisingly good, very uh, surprisingly twisted <laughs> in a way. Return to Newcom High Part One. 
I'm still waiting for Return of Nukem High Part 2. Uh, it still hasn't come out yet. I don't know if they're even filming it yet. But um, if, you, uh, if you look up Troma Films, uh, Troma Films goes way back to the 80s. This is one of their newer ones, obviously. Uh, Classic Nukem High was one of their bigger, bigger hits along with uh, the Toxic Avenger. Uh, trauma films are, are usually very um, unforgiving when it comes to like uh, you know really bad jokes really uh, wrong jokes <laughs> a lot of blood a lot of gore a lot of just grossness thrown into one movie um, if you like all that stuff you'll love uh, trauma films and you'll most likely love Return to, <laughs> Return to Newcomb High The Boy this one had uh, this one was an interesting movie, uh, an interesting twist at, uh, towards the end too. Anaconda. I remember watching this at the movies. That's that's how, how <laughs> that's how old I am. Halloween: The Return of Michael Myers. Again, Halloween movies are always a fun time. Kill Zombie. Not good. Scream: The Five, five Film Set. Uh, and this says five films, but it's like, I mean, I, it, it includes documentaries. I guess that's what they're trying to say. One, two, and three, and then two documentaries. I gotta get that sticker off. That all stuff like that bugs me. Honeymoon, um, really good movie. Uh, very, very different, very unique. So I had a fun time watching this one. Texas Chainsaw Massacre Two. Um, this movie used to give me nightmares as a kid, so, um, good movie, though. I, I've grown to appreciate it and like it, uh, as I got older. Halloween H2O, 20 years later. Again, probably one of the better uh, Halloween movies out there. Uh, I mean, they're all very enjoyable. This is probably one of the best ones, though, I, th I think. Vestron, uh, video collector series, Return of the Living Dead 3. Um... I remember watching this one as a kid. Return of the Living Dead was always, a, again, a different take on the zombie genre. Um, the, these zombies uh, tend, tended to talk a lot more, and they kind of broke all the, the usual rules uh, you know, that uh, George Romero had put in place, I guess, for, I don't want to say he put them in place, but the, the type of stuff that he uh, did with zombies, uh, Return of the Living Dead just completely like, okay, we're going to do something completely different. So... Always very fun to watch. The makeup effects in this one, superb. Phantasm Ravager. Um, the very disappointing um, ending movie uh, to the Phantasm series. It, 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 it was just disappointing. Um, it follows. Uh, this is a very unique and, and great movie. Um, a, one movie that it was basically... Um, uh, birth control, <laughs> I guess you could say, but uh, really love the soundtrack on here too. The Lazarus Effect, starring Olivia Wilde. This was actually pretty good. Uh, Olivia Wilde does a great job in in this uh, in the horror genre. Maggie, uh, this is again another zombie movie, um, and it's more of like a zombie drama, you know. And I thought Arnold did a great, great, uh, great job in this movie. And uh, it was showing a different side to him, which was very, uh, very welcoming, I guess you could say, very fresh. Tiger House. I don't remember watching this one, to be honest with you. Flatliners. Flatliners is a, it's a classic. It really is. It's a cult classic. Um, and it, just in time for uh, the remake that's going to be coming out, I think, pretty soon, in the next couple weeks. Really good. Prom Night. Again, another uh, remake of a, of a slasher flick from the 80s. It was decent. Cub. Uh, this one's weird. You guys got to look this one up. <laughs> the Conjuring 2. What's more to say? Friday the 13th, the first one. Uncut. Poltergeist Digibook. Super cool. Alright. Oops, let me pop that back in. Alright. 
The Disappointments Room. I don't remember watching this one, to be honest. The Devil's Hand. Not good. Scream, the TV series, the complete first season. Um, as very reluctant that I was with this show, it turned out to be pretty, pretty decent. Um, it was it, it was interesting. It was enjoyable, and uh, yeah, I mean, I definitely it's it's way different. It has pretty much nothing to do with the original films, uh, besides I guess just the premise, you know. But pretty good, and it's an MTV show. I don't normally watch MTV shows like that. Monsterland. This is another uh, another anthology uh, film, and this one was pretty decent. It, again, so there's. There's always some in there that are like better than others. Um, just same thing here. Uh, there, there was a good couple of them in there though that were really good. Night Watch. Uh, disappointed that that this this movie didn't get out there a bit more. And I think they there was supposed to be or there was Day Watch I believe, and then there was supposed to be another one, and it didn't uh, it didn't get made. Good good uh, vampire movie. From Dust Till Dawn. I mean, I don't even have to say it. Great movie. The Omen. Another remake. Uh, this was alright. Stephen King's writing the bullet. This one was weird. <laughs> this one was weird. Um, I mean, Stephen King movies are, are usually pretty weird, but yeah. Feast. This one was a fun one. Um, and I don't know if you guys remember, um, there was a show, Project Greenlight. Back in the day, this, the, during their, I believe it was their first season. No, maybe their second season. Um, they, they, the winner went on to make Feast. Final Girl. This one's a good one. This one's a fun one to watch. Basically like a revenge movie. All Hallows Eve 2. Um, this one's alright. I, I dug this one. I love the cover. Look at even embossed, really cool. Dead End Drive-In. A narrow video release, so you know it's it's interesting, at least. Split. Fantastic movie. Hammer Films Double Feature, The Revenge of uh, Frankenstein, and The Curse of the Mummy's Tomb. Driller Killer. Dario Argento's The Bird with the Crystal Plumage. Great movie. Get Out. Very, very good movie. I don't even have to say it. Um, Arrow video release of The Hills Have Eyes. Fantastic packaging. Really, uh, really realistic feeling movie. Another three pack to Possession. Is it the Possession? Yeah, the Possession, Cabin in the Woods, and the first Sinister movie. First Sinister one is really good. Cabin in the Woods, I love so much. Phantasm 3, Lord of the Dead. The first Phantasm. Halloween 5, The Revenge of Michael Myers. DVD. I think I had the. The Blu-ray. <laughs> From Beyond. Um, this movie I looked for for a very, very long time. And I kept explaining it to people. Um, and nobody understood or nobody uh, had seen what I was explaining. And then I remember, I think I was at Best Buy. I got this one at Best Buy, I believe. And I was uh, going through the, the horror movie section. And I found it. And I'm like, no, this is it, right? This is, This can't be it. Turn it around, like, yep, it's it. There's like a worm that comes out of this guy's, like, head. He's like telepathic. I don't know if you see it there. Really odd movie. And I remember watching it when I was like four or five or something like that. Man, where were my parents? <laughs> Lake Placid, the final chapter. Yeah, it's okay. There's a giant, there's a really, really giant uh, alligator in there. Kill for me. Uh, this was a, a pretty decent movie. You guys got to check it out. I, I think this was one of those movies I didn't even know anything about. I popped it in. I was like, wow, okay, that's pretty cool. I know, really vague description. I'm sorry for that one. <laughs> uh, the Hills Have Eyes 2, unrated. 
Uh, not the best sequel. Really enjoyed the original, though. The uh, I guess the original remake, I guess you can say. Uh, Visible Scars. This one's okay. The Ring. Ask your bee. <laughs> this one was a very weird one, too. I, I couldn't tell if I liked it or not. It was okay, but there was a lot of weird moments. Private Number. This one was so-so, too. Summer Camp. Uh, this one reminded me of that one movie. Uh, man, I can't remember what it was. Oh, it's going to kill me now. Uh, if I remember what it was, and I'll put a picture right here of the poster. Um, I remember it being like a, a Nerdist Presents. It was like their very first uh, movie that Nerdist put out uh, that, that they produced. And it was a horror movie. There was kids in the cabin and like this outbreak that caused them to like just completely start freaking out. It was that one was a good movie. This one, mm, Kill Billies, <laughs> Vampires, The Jokesters, Fight of the Living Dead. This is a, it has a bunch of YouTubers in it. You can see there. Asylum. Um, I don't normally. Like, I don't normally, um, like, give movies bad reviews. I really don't. Because for the most part, I understand the, the, the process of, of making a movie and how hard it is to make a movie. The only time that I, I give a negative review is when the movie itself is so insulting um, and very lazy. And it was just one of those where, like, really, you guys... Like, you guys could have done a lot better than that. Like, seriously. It just looked like everybody was just coasting. They didn't want to be there. Uh, acting was terrible. This is that movie. Um, I, I I very rarely even get mad uh, whenever I watch a bad movie. Because to me, bad movies, even, they're, even though if they're bad, it's an experience. You know, now you know that that's a bad movie. This one made me mad <laughs> after I watched it. Like, legit mad. I, I felt like I really wasted a lot of time on, on that one. And, uh, yeah, Asylum. Just, here, embed that in your brain. So that way you know to stay stay away from it. It's just, no. <laughs> Hellraiser. Love Hellraiser. The Grudge. Love The Grudge. Troll and Troll 2. <laughs> Troll 2 is a trip. Return of the Living Dead 2. The Thing. Love The Thing. Favorite movie. Secret Window. I really like Secret Window. And it's another Stephen King movie. Um, I think a lot of it stems from me being a writer as well. And just me having writer's block sometimes. That I, it's like I, I projected myself into that movie. To, to a certain extent anyway. Cabin Fever. Love that one. Night of the Living Dead remake. The 1990 remake. That Tom Savini directed. Love it. This is one of my favorite zombie movies out there. The original Night of the Living Dead, directed by George A. Romero. Rest in peace, George. Um, I remember when I when I heard he passed, it, it made me very sad. I almost wanted to cry because he like his movies, man, really changed the way I look at horror. Um, it really kind of got me more into horror than I, I you know had ever had before. Um, Roadside. This is another good movie. Uh, another movie that will definitely fly under the radar. Um, I love. I loved it. it. You know, basically, it, it's again one of those those movies where I told you that when it's uh, you know confined to a certain setting and it doesn't leave that area, you got to get creative. They got creative with with uh, with Roadside. Good movie. Day of the Dead remake. Terrible. Terrible. They should have left this one alone. Really bad. You have zombies crawling on the ceilings, and yeah, very weird. Fido, great, funny, uh, funny zombie zombie comedy movie. Really good. They basically try to domesticate zombies, and they put collars on them and stuff like that. Twenty eight weeks later, I love these movies. I really wish that they would do the the sequel that that uh, Danny Boyle always promised. The twenty eight months later, 
Dawn of the Dead remake. This was this introduces to the running zombies and um, they were uh, they were scary. They were. It was a good movie. This is I believe is written by James Gunn. Yeah, written by James Gunn, which obviously he went on to direct Guardians of the Galaxy and uh, directed by Zack Snyder. I mean seriously, Day of the Dead, the original. Day of the Dead, George A. Romero's Day of the Dead. Um, I love this one uh, for for a different reason. The, the zombie makeup in here wasn't the best, but this release in particular um, was really good. And it's out of print. I have not seen it anywhere else. I see just a basic, you know, like case. But um, this has this cool opening here. It's really cool. And you see Doctor Tongue and bub and does come with this cool like little notepad type of deal with little sketches and then the in inside here the interior artwork some zombies in there really cool i love this one this is again one of my pride and joys um and bub there is is embossed and so is the logo of day of the dead uh dawn of the dead ultimate edition um i remember uh i was younger obviously when this came out I saved up. Uh, I saved up my money for this one. I heard it was coming out. It had all the the different versions of, of Dawn of the Dead in it, and um, it didn't disappoint. There's so many in here. I think there's. I think it's like four, something like that. It does come in this like cool, uh, cool type of deal here. Let's see if we can. It does come with like a, a mini comic for Dawn of the Dead, and then another little booklet like inserts and stuff like that. And oh, let's see if we can pick this up. Okay, so the U.S. theatrical uh, theatrical version, the extended version, the, the European version, and then some documentaries. Uh, the European one, I believe, was was the one that was directed by Dario Argento. Uh, it was his cut of the film, um, and uh, it was good. Like I, I I enjoyed all of them. I've watched them all at some point. Um, now, if you were to quiz me on what, what what the difference was, I don't remember per se. It's been a long time, but uh, they were all very good versions. Let's see here, and there goes the back there. Super super cool. And there's something about it coming in in like this cool, just sleek black, you know, uh, slipcase. It looks really amazing. Right, what else? The monster. This was an interesting one. Very surprising as well. ABCs of Death. Again, horror. The first horror anthology. Uh, we just went through uh, ABCs of Death too. Really good. Drag Me to Hell. One of my favorite favorite horror movies as well. Just because it's a Sam Raimi directed uh, horror movie. His horror movies are always fun. Helix season one. This one remind. This show reminded me of The Thing a lot. Uh, and I think that's why I liked it so much. It, really good. And I think it got canceled again after one season. Maybe no. I mean, I think maybe it went on a couple of seasons, but it got canceled. Halloween two, the Rob Zombie uh, Halloween two. Um, very. I think it was a little too artsy for its own good, but it was still very good. I really like it. Um, I think uh, Rob Zombie tried to get a little too. Uh, it went a little too much with the imagery. I guess you could say Devil's Rejects on uh, on Blu-ray, Halloween Resurrection, the bad one. <laughs> I don't I don't like that one. Videodrome, fantastic David Cronenberg movie, and this is probably one of the few. I think I have like two Criterion Collection uh, movies. And I I need to get more. I need to get jumping on that. But it does have this cool like you know, uh, beta type of a. Uh, cover art on it love this movie so weird but it's so good vhs one of my favorites uh it's it's st it stands up there as far as you know horror horror anthologies go for me uh creep show obviously being uh some of the some of the favorites favorites for me this is this is pretty high up there on my list vhs2 another really good one uh they did they did a a, a really good sequel uh, VHS Viral. This is the third and final one that they've done so far. 
And uh, this one was uh, more misses than hits. Um, but it was still, it was decent. Shaun of the Dead. Who doesn't love Shaun of the Dead? Zombie Killers. Elephant's Graveyard. Weird. It's weird. <laughs> it really is. Return of the Living Dead. Love this movie. This one's really fun to watch. I love popping it, that one in just every so often. Monsters, Dark Continent. This one was very, very weird. Woman in Black 2, Angel of Death. Um, an okay sequel, not the best. Though. Voices, starring Ryan Reynolds. This one was good. Uh, it, was, it was a lot uh, even funnier than I thought it was going to be, but uh, really good. Martyrs, this one was good too. Muck. Okay, you know how I said that sometimes, you know, there's movies out there that just make me mad? This is another one of those. Um, I felt like it, the, the the movie itself was just um, a bunch of people just getting together. And um, it's a movie full of douchebags, <laughs> basically. The Vampire Lovers. Jack and Diane. Uh, this one's very, very odd. Two girls, uh, they, they, you know, become romantically involved, but, um, uh, one of them turns into a monster, like, every so often, or something like that. Very weird. Uh, but it's cool. It's, it's basically like a horror art house type of movie. John Dies at the End. Really, really good movie. I like this one a lot. I enjoyed this one so much. Storage 24. Um... Really weird kind of alien horror movie. This one uh, reminds me a lot of like the way Cloverfield and Super 8, it, you know, uh, were in a, in a sense. More more along the lines of Super 8, this was uh, pretty much stationary to a setting of, of a storage facility. And um, and people were getting picked off one by one that, were, that got locked in there. Uh, it was okay. Hellraiser, Deader. Uh, the title always throws me off because it just sounds like that sh it shouldn't be called that, but it is. And uh, they weren't trying to be funny about it. Uh, this is one of the more uh, odd Hellraiser movies. As Above, So Below. Uh, another found footage movie. I, I'm not a huge fan of found footage, but this one was actually pretty good. This was kind of trippy. Right, Twilight Zone, the complete third season. Love the Twilight Zone. Twilight Zone, the complete first season. Love the Twilight Zone. Wish I had the Outer Limits uh, set. I love the, the 90s Outer Limits. Uh, those are really good to watch. Shiver. This one was okay. Saw 4. Right? Yeah, Saw 4. <laughs> it's a trap. Blackwater Vampire. Uh, this one's basically like Blair Witch. For the most part. Birth of the Living Dead. Basically a documentary on George, George A. Romero. Rest in peace. Insidious Chapter 2. Uh, pretty decent. Pretty decent sequel. I liked it. Ouija. This was okay. I heard that the second one was better. I still haven't seen the second one yet, but that was alright. The Good Doctor. I don't know why I put this one in here. It's not really a horror. Oh, well, I guess you could say it kind of. It's more of like a thriller, but um, it's kind of messed up, like what this guy does. So I guess you can call it a horror. Compliance. Um, one of my favorite movies, uh, just because, again... Movies that that um, tend to be a lot more realistic and make you say, "Wow, that that could definitely happen in real life." Well, this movie actually did happen, and as you can see, it says inspired by true events, um, and uh, it's it's really messed up, you know. So definitely, I I, I think it, this is a one watcher. I have not watched it again since I I watched it the first time, but uh, it's really good. It'll get you talking. The Vatican Tapes. Uh, another found... I believe it's a found footage. Is it? I don't know. I can't remember. But 
It was okay. No, I don't think it is because Michael Pena's in it. So, <laughs> I don't think it's a found footage. They Live. One of my favorite John Carpenter movies as well. Um, it was just so weird. The fight scene with Roddy Roddy Piper and uh, and Keith David in the, in the alleyway. Best. Hostile Part 2. Where? <laughs> the Legend Reborn. A werewolf movie. Seven. You gotta have seven in the collection. And I, I love... I miss this. I miss this about... Uh, you know, with DVDs and stuff like that. They should do this a lot more often. Um, they do like these little extras or these cool little things with them. Where... It looks like a, a, no, a notepad. You know, you open it up. And you open it up further. It has everything here. I miss this stuff. I miss it. The, they, they used to do this a lot with DVDs. They don't do it as much anymore with, with Blu-rays. Um, and the other thing that I really miss with, with, with DVDs that they used to do a lot, Easter eggs. They used to have the Easter eggs. They used to have, have to, uh, like, you know, uh, locate within the menus and stuff like that. I miss that. The Others, great movie. The Descent, great movie. Outpost, weird zombie movie. <laughs> Tom Holland's Twisted Tales, not that Tom Holland. Not that Tom Holland, not Spider-Man Tom Holland. But uh, this one's alright. I believe it's an anthology. Uh, George A. Romero's Diary of the Dead. This was one of the first George Romero zombie movies that I said, wow, I don't like it. <laughs> they, they, it was around the found footage time. Found footage was very popular. Um, and George Romero decided to go down that route as well. But it did, I did get this cool collector set. Um, as you can see here, I got it at Best Buy. This show Best Buy exclusive there on the back. And it comes with the movie and uh, the Zen of Zombie book. You see there, better living through the undead. <laughs> Weird. But uh, but pretty cool. It's a pretty cool, like, little extra that they put in there. I don't know. I'll put that over here. Hellraiser 3, Hell on Earth. This one was really fun. I, li I, lo I love that one. The Demon's Rook. Uh, this one was weird. It was, it was weird. It was pretty good, though. Decent. Zombie 3, uh, I believe it's a Lucio Fulci uh, movie, and uh, basically an, an Italian zombie movie. Pretty good. Children of the Living Dead. Very odd, but it did have Tom Savini in it, and that's the only reason I bought this movie. <laughs> Flight uh, 7500. This one's actually really good. It was surprisingly good. Eaters. Uh, this one's a little odd. Identity, great movie. Camp Dread. Uh, this one's kind of like Sleepaway Camp. I don't know if you guys remember that movie, but uh, this one felt a lot like that. Wolf Creek 2, really good movie. Vampire Journals. I've had this movie for so long and I've never seen it. <laughs> so if you have, let me know how it is. Uh, Phantasm 4 Oblivion. Really good. Evil Dead. Fantastic. I don't have to say much more about the Evil Dead. The Hills Have Eyes. Really, really good movie. It was just... It was one of the... It almost felt uncomfortable at times. Um, Silent Hill. Love Silent Hill. Uh, the second one, not so much. But it was still good. Uh, Killer Clowns from Outer Space. Who doesn't love Killer Clowns from Outer Space? Friday the 13th uh, collection from uh, from Crystal Lake to Manhattan. It has all the Friday the 13th movies here. There's like two two per case, I believe. Yeah. Okay. I'll pop these in every so often as well. I need to upgrade this one to that, that tin one that they have out there. Uh, Poltergeist 2 and 3. Creep Show Two, love it. One of my, again, my one of my favorite uh, uh, horror anthologies. American Psycho, love this movie too. 
Two Evil Eyes. Um, this was a, a really, really good movie. Uh, this is a uh, Dario Argento and George Romero teamed up to make basically it's like a small it's like a two part uh, horror anthology. There's two different stories on here based on Edgar Allan Poe's stories, and um, really really good. I had to like special order this one in order to get it in because um, I I looked for it forever and I couldn't find it anywhere. Uh, George Romero's uh, I believe I believe I want to say it was George Romero's only George Romero story. No, both stories. Uh, the, the makeup effects, the horror effects on, on here were done by Tom Savini. I'm, I'm a huge Tom Savini fan. So, um, yeah, they look fantastic. Definitely, if you, if you haven't seen Two Evil Eyes, you definitely need to watch it. His name is Jason. Another uh, documentary. Um, this one was, was good. Uh, that Crystal Lake one, the Crystal Lake Memories one, way better. And I want to say that they took some of the some of the, the, the interviews from, from here and, and inserted it in the other one as well, I believe. I don't know. Let's see here. All right. Bruce Campbell versus Army of Darkness, the director's cut, official bootleg edition. Uh, this is the one that they came out with that had the, the alternate ending to it, like included in, uh, I believe it was included in the, in the movie itself, already cut in. The Fly and Fly 2. Right. I love The Fly. Those, those are some really good movies. Fly 2 was pretty good too. Joyride. Again, I, I told you guys, this is probably one of my first DVDs that I ever bought. Um, I got my first job when I was younger. And I just, well, maybe it was, was it my first job? I don't know, maybe my, my, my second job. And, uh... It was when DVDs first came out and DVD players first came out. My original DVD player, I was a Philips DVD player. I want to say I still might have it. Um, I bought it for like almost $200. Can you believe that? A DVD player for almost $200. And um, yeah, and then I went out and bought a couple movies. 28 days later. The Puppet Masters. I love this movie. This is good. Alien Triple Pack. Aliens 1, 2, and 3. We're almost done. We're almost done, guys. I'm trying to... This one's going to be a little longer than the last one, but... Turn Living Dead Necropolis. Um, very odd. <laughs> Return Living Dead 3 on DVD. Undead. A fantastic... Um, Australian, I believe it's Australian, yeah, Australian zombie movie, um, and that a buddy of mine found while he was in the army, he found it in, um, I believe, I want to say he was in, in, he was in the Middle East, I don't know, I can't remember the exact uh, place, but he was in the Middle East, and uh, the, you know, some of the vendors there, some of the people that sell things, they sell bootleg movies, you know, I mean, that's what it is, it's just how they do things there, um, and he sent me uh, this was this was a bootleg. Let's see if if I can open it up. Here's the uh, the cover art on it. But yeah, this is a bootleg of an Australian zombie movie. But it was really well done. And the reason uh, I started looking into it a little bit more, and the reason I loved it so much, was that it was done by two brothers, I believe. And uh, yeah, it was a uh, Michael Michael Spearig and uh, Peter Spearig. Um and they did it all on like their home computer. They shot it themselves and did all the effects, all the special effects on their home computer. That was very, I was very impressed by that. Um, this one's, this is another, I guess, pride and joy of mine. It's, uh, it's a Saw Uncut Edition. And this one had the, this cool little uh, watery thing with blood. The blood dried up over the years, though, as you can see. It's all kind of like set, settled down there. But it has this cool like little saw that floats around. That was really cool, man. I loved it. Um, not a fan of the case so much, though. It was like that weird... It was like a weird plastic... Uh, clear plastic case. Like a CD case. Um, and this is the only time that I remember seeing a case like this. But really cool. And they never did anything like this again. So that was really unique for Saw. The Saw 2. The lenticular slip. Boom, 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 boom. All right. And last, last but not least, I thought I never thought we were gonna finish. 
Saw 3, director's cut. We have this cool translucent uh, slipped over here. All right. So there you have it. That is my whole horror movie collection. Uh, some 4Ks in there, some a lot of Blu-rays, and a lot of DVDs. Uh, let me know what you guys think of this video. Give this video a big thumbs up if you can. Uh, I, I it took me a long time to to really like start doing this video, and I'm glad I did because again, I'm looking at some of these movies that I that have been sitting on the shelf, and I want to go through some of these again. So if there's a title in here that maybe you guys want me to uh, go a little bit more in depth about, let me know in the comments. What I what I really want to know from you guys though is what is your favorite horror movie? Like what movie really scared you as a kid, or or what movie you know was 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 a highlight? What horror movie was a highlight for you? Um, let me know in the comments below as well. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well because we got many, many videos coming all the time. Uh, and with all that being said, we will catch you next time.